In question 10, we're given a three-dimensional figure that's made up of 12 cubes. And we have to determine what the top, front, and side views would look like in two dimensions. First off, let's just count the cubes to make sure there's none that are hidden behind. So if we count them, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cubes, so we know that they're all shown and there's none that are hidden behind. Okay, let's erase that and we'll start by looking at the top view. So if we're looking from the top, our eyes would be up here and we'd be peering down. So let's imagine some light rays coming from the top and hitting our figure and see where they land. Well, one would land here, one would land there, and there, and there, and there, and also over here. So the light rays are hitting the tops of the figures. So let's take a look at this one first, and we can go over to our two-dimensional shape and draw it in there. Let's say it would be right there. Then the next one would be right beside it. So we could go over here and draw it in right beside it there. And the next ones would be here beside that one, and then here beside that one, and here again beside that one. So that would be here, here, and here. Now let's not forget about this one down here, a light ray hitting the top of this cube. So it's uh, the same space as that middle cube there. So we'd put it right there. And if we shade these in, this would give us our top view of the shape in two dimensions. Okay, let's look at the front view. So the, if we had the front view, our eye would be over here and we'd be looking in this direction. So again, imagine light rays hitting the surface of our shape. So they would hit here, 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 there, here, 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 etc. So if we were to put that in a two-dimensional view, we'll start over here. We can see that we're going to get two in a row there. So that could be here and here. Then beside those two, we'll get another couple. So we'll go here and here. And then beside those, there's another couple. So we would get here and here. And then beside those is just this one here. So it would be right there. Then above, we'd have three in a row beside each other. So they would be starting right here, and then here, and then here. And then finally, we'd have the one at the top here. So that would be right in the middle of those, right there. Just to double check, we're hitting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven surfaces. So we just want to make sure that we've got that. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. And we can shade that in to represent our two dimensional front view. Okay, for side view, our eye would be over here and we'd be looking in this direction. So our light rays would be hitting here, 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 and here. So if we were to sketch that, we'd have one here and then one right beside it. So we could put one here and then one right beside it. Then we'd have one, two, three on top of this one here. So that would be one, two, three, on top of that one. Just to be sure, let's count how many surfaces we're going to hit. We're going to hit one, two, three, four, five, and that's the number of cubes we have. And we can fill that in to give us our side view. And there we go.